Uh, apologize for not having any live Zooms today. Um, my wife has to work. I'm stuck with the my three little kiddos, and it'd be really difficult, I think, to get any live instruction going on with um, three three babies and toddlers. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of summarize what the, today's lesson is about, and it, it's the idea of linear versus nonlinear, and the three different ways that you're going to see these things. Um, I don't have my pen and tablet here, so illustrating on this is going to be a bit challenging. So I'm, I kind of have all the illustrations already done. Just going to like focus on key components that will help, I think, help make you dis be able to differentiate between linear and nonlinear. So let's take a look at the table first. Um, so one of the ways you're going to see equations or functions is input outputs listed in a table. And in the first table I have here, I have it in red, and then that red is going to show up through the other different ways that this is represented. And the first thing you want to do, and you guys have this skill already, is to be able to find the rate of change within the table. So you kind of draw these little arrows from the x values and see what the x values are changing by. And in this scenario, they're going up by 2. And then we do the same thing for the y's, and they're going up by 3. And the fact that these things are changing consistently means that this thing has a constant rate of change come on now and therefore it is linear you want to associate constant rate of change and linear they are like just make sure that that's awful font uh, let's go with uh, whatever that'll be fine for now what I need you to remember is constant rate of change is linear constant rate of change linear non-constant non-linear we'll take a look at an example of non-constant down below so in this table we have the same change in our x values it's going up by two every time but if you take a look at the y values it starts at four then it goes down to zero and then it goes up to four again and then it goes up to 16 and up to 36 the change went down four up four up 12 and then up 20 for the next one so this is certainly not a constant rate of change yeah, the X's are going up constant, but the Y's are not, so we don't have a constant relationship here. It's the inputs maybe, but the outputs are not. So we would say not constant rate of change. You guessed it. Come on now. Change is nonlinear. And it, the hardest way I think for you to see this is going to be both in a table and equation. In a graph, it's going to jump out at you. Uh, and we'll get to the graphs. That's why I saved them for last because I think they're the easiest. All right, so table, constant rate of change, linear, not constant, not linear. In an equation, you want to be on the lookout for things you're already familiar with. Equation number one is in slope-intercept form. Uh, this right here is the slope or the constant rate of change, which in this case it's 3 over 2. This one matches the, uh, the table over here, by the way. And it has a y-intercept of 8. And you can see all this from the table. Um, so we have a constant rate of change in this. It's a linear equation. So it's in slope-intercept form. Hopefully you recognize that. You know that when graphing slope-intercept form, it creates a, a line. Down below, we have another example of this. This is another thing in slope-intercept form where our slope is 0 0.45. That will be our, our constant rate of change. And in this case, we have an intercept of negative 20. But it's still linear. And up to this point, this is really all the equations you've seen. Everything you've seen has been linear. So really down below is where the new change is going to occur. If you see an equation with this, an exponent involved, as soon as you introduce exponents, you're immediately introducing nonlinear relationships here. This blue equation matches the table here. In fact, if you plug in the x value, let's do this. Negative 2 squared. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 0, 0 times 0 is, is 0. 2 times itself, 2 squared is also 4. Uh, 4 squared is 16. And 6 squared is 36. So this blue equation here matches the blue table to the left. It has a not non constant rate of change and therefore nonlinear. And the final example is another one. As soon as you see an exponent involved, little x in here, doesn't matter if the x is the, um, the exponent or if it's the base. As soon as you see exponents, it's nonlinear. Off to the right is the graph. Clearly, if it's a straight line, it's linear. If it's a curved line, it's nonlinear. This blue graph actually matches this blue equation and matches this blue table. So I hope that you're able to take what you need from this video and help you with the assignment for today. The big concept is linear versus nonlinear. Probably said it like 10 times in this video here, but the major 
the key concept for the day is that constant rate of change is linear, not constant is nonlinear. In an equation, you want to look for exponents. If you see exponents, nonlinear. All right, hope this video clears some things up, guys. Good luck on the uh, assignment for today.